Good boy.
Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Good luck! I'll keep my eye out for you! Mr. Morgan, 
I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Call. Have a look at these. Pile of crap. Not looking good. Now that's what I'm talking about. For Christ's sakes. Huh. Yes. Sure. I'll check. I check. Not for me. Check. You play it safe, huh? Damn it. Nah. Things are looking okay. Yes. <sighs> Wish he'd left some booze for us. I'm parched. Hope your friend's still breathing. He's very quiet. <sighs> okay. Let's start this low for now.
Okay, then. I reckon you're full of shit. I'll call. Gonna start small here. That's what I got. You're bluffing. So here. Pile of crap. Not looking good. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Come to me. Lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. It's the last thing I needed. <sighs> now what? Where's Reverend? to like this place and what's to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Get it! Come on! What the hell is 
wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard! <sighs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... <sighs> so sleepy. I was wondering when he'd show up. My lady. Hi there, Arthur. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hi there, Arthur. Probably just needs to sleep it off. Well, he looks like he's been up for days. Probably. some rest. You okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend?
So you like the new camp, Jack? How sure. are you? It's fine. It'll Not do us for here. now. Ah, oh, well. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. I ain't cleaned myself in weeks. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? <laughs> I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no you're kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastard! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay, then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Colm? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharon's saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might... I was asked to give them. And I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. Hey. Hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah. I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. There, boy. Williamson, Williamson. What, Morgan? Just to say, well, even you can't screw up killing O'Driscoll's. Funny. And I guess you're good here. Unless some soft-handed feller comes along and tells you you've gone too far. What are you talking about? Fighting that big bullock up in Valentine? How wise you think beating a man to death would have been? With all them folks looking on, when we supposed to be laying low. I saw your eyes, Morgan. You didn't go clever, you went soft. Uh, 
I'll take it. After all, you are an authority on not being clever. The captive gets a little cough in his throat, looks at you with some big doe eyes. You gonna let Comb go free? I was fighting Comb when you was pretending to fight Indians. Don't call my record into question. It's your abilities that call your record into question, Bill. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourself. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it... it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting, here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do... We move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Good one, boy. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. Cabins in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. 
I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? The one by the tree. Let's get closer. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Okay, go to work. We're waiting. Let's do. What's the plan? Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. The sooner we get this over with. Lost your mind. Come on the camp. I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Over here. Got her on the log. What are we doing about it? I'll check. You look out here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. 
but I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill, you tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> yeah, right you are. At least you got something tucked away. you caused enough trouble, huh? Beating up half the saloon like that? Near killing Tommy out in the street? You've come up funny since then. Come on, there's gotta be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. As I care, you ain't even here. Have yourself a good evening, partner. Back for some more provisions? Stop by if your needs change. Evening, partner. First time in Smithfields? Uh, you ain't worth two shits, whole damn lot of you. 
what can I get you? No brawling this time, all right? No, oh, I'm on my best behavior. Can I get something to eat? Oh, red. Quit bumming around. Ladies? Well, hello, handsome. Any of fools should thank me. <laughs> You're drunk. Uh, hello there, sir. Don't think I've seen you around here before. All right. What can I do for you? Wild West, no more around here. Ain't nothing. Nice. More goddamn America. More goddamn shops. More goddamn prissy women in men's clothing so, uh, and women in women's clothing thinking they must be men. My old Bessie, she could skin a bear with her teeth, so help me God. Look at you! Oh, make a fella sick! If you want to have a drink before we get started, I won't stop you. What's wrong with you, fool? Well, look at y'all! Look at you! My time? Man, it was goddamn men. You ain't men, the whole lot of you. Look at you. You ain't men. You ain't even women. Okay. Guess you're, here. you're something else. Even. You're revolting. <laughs> I'm revolted. I'm tempted to gouge my eyes out just for the fact that they saw you. I wouldn't do you the dignity of pissing on you. None of you. Oh, God, I can't believe what this dump is coming to. Hey there. What do you want? What's your problem, partner? Yeah, you, with the squinty eyes and the, and the big old head and the women's britches. You! What the hell are you staring at? Thanks, mister. Hi, folks. Hey, howdy, sir. Uh-oh, mister. Hello there, mister. Uh -oh. Let's go, boy. For all I care. Uh, I take it easy. Look I got my vago. Smarten him up, will ya? <laughs> oh, uh, hell. Wasting my time anyway. Every time, Uncle. Oh. Oh. You could have stepped in. I thought you had it covered. Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. You're lucky your head ain't stove in. Get a hold of yourself. Ah, I don't need luck. I got guile. Hey, partner.
Sir, sir. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> Why, that'd be enough. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Pearson. Hello, Mr. Morgan. How are you doing? Marvelous! You recovered, Dan. Yes, sir. Thank you. It won't happen again. Yes, it will. That's deep, Uncle. I speak only the truth. Well, that's one lie right there. One night when I was frisky From too much potent whiskey Like waves on the Bay of Biscay I began to tumble and roar My face is red like a lobster I fell and broke my poor lobster the watch from my fob was picture. I never get drunk anymore. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown in. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. 
debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I'll try and see about the debts. Very good. He asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, homeboys, home, it's where I want to be. Homeboys. What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. No, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, then, Arthur. He me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath. I got no sleep at all. Hello, Abigail. Good morning. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Tilly. Good morning, Arthur. Everything okay? Oh, yes. Just doing what I can to help out around here. Thanks, Tilly. Yes. See you later. How are you, Jack? Here you was sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Arthur? You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? Our world is changing. Even I see that now. Our time is pretty much past. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. It's just... I'm realistic about what's coming. But I am. I can't kill an animal. Needlessly. I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth?
Thank you, Arthur. Always the same people doing all the work, isn't it? Always good to see. You. Good morning, Arthur. Grimshaw keeping off your back? I wish. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Hiya. Hey. There he is. The man of God. Kicking a man when he's down? What a choke. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? You're a disgrace to us all. You ain't worth none of my attentions. So, a feller in town recognized me from Blackwater. That's not good. It's okay, though. I dealt with it. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. There you are. Me? You. Me? Yes, you. When are you gonna let me take you out for an evening into town? You know, to a, like a magic lantern show or something. Mr. Arthur, I told Dutch I feel I should tell you. I saw some of Combs boys riding around. Down here? What they want? I have no idea. Do they see you? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know, Karen. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Then take care. Can I borrow a few dollars? I'm good for it. Borrow money? Oh, you horrible man! Well, you can't blame a fellow for trying. <laughs> Miss O'Shea. Gas. Cheer up. Smile. Try to forget about things. Okay. Either that or start so praying bored. real hard. Nobody's stopping you getting out there making some money. Grandma is. Don't listen to her. Come on. Ain't that bad. What would you know about being a woman? Nothing. Forget I said anything. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Uh-huh.
Hello. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Mary Beth? Hey, Arthur. How's it riding? Not very good. I hear the most wonderful words in my head, and then I ride absolute poppycock. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. My journal. I was reading some the other day. <laughs> I write like a fool. <laughs> <sighs> One day I'd love a beautiful fountain pen and a great desk in a quiet room and to write the most beautiful stories. Well, I can't do much about the stories or the quiet room, but maybe I'll find you a pen. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Arthur. Hey, Bill. Did you find much in the O'Driscoll's cabin? We did all right out of it. Just no comb. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. Easy, easy. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, 
Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. Przestań. Nie mam siły. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. No have money, but but I have this. It's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay. I have. Anything in here or out there? Yes. You must have come here with something. Good, yeah. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Got behind there. So, uh, Move aside. Prusakom nie można ufać. Another kind of test. What do we have here? Moja obrączka, nie! Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things.
take a look at you, tough guy. Now, what are you trying to pull with me? Oh, see, you ain't tough after all. You want to see what I can do with a shooter? Shut it. Let's have some hot. <laughs> Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! Easy, man. Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Ugh. Better shot, I suppose. Ah, oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Come, Come on. on, let's do it. Could we? Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Ah, 
<laughs> it was a good try, but <laughs> maybe next time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? Here. Lucky for you, I'm having a bad day. Mm, maybe we'll do this again, huh? Hasta la próxima, amigo. Gotta say, that was some fine shooting. Gracias, cowboy. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Ah! Yeah. Last chance to save your hand! Stop! Tell you where it is. You're in no place to bargain, boy. Goddamn treasure hunt. You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. There ain't no reason to tie me like this. Save me. Aren't you gonna untie me? I knew I shouldn't have borrowed. I'm honest. I'm honest. Really. For the most part. Well, this is real uncharacteristic. I promise.
You know where she is? Uh, nuh-uh. This is Millet, the ranch maid. You know where I can find her? She's with Cooper over by the store. Oh, any idea of the whole I mean? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week. And I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you tell Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn mother. Son of a bitch. Money, leave me alone. Hey, you know what I What do you thing? want? Law here about that. I've got nothing to say. I to didn't you. steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Ain't my concern, no, sir. You stop right now. Hey, just walk away, partner. Don't make this difficult. You want to die? You want to die? Listen to me, damn it. <clears throat> I'm wasting my time. Hello, mister. What can I do you for?
out of you. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! Let me out of here! I got a wife and kids! Shut What's up and keep still! What the hell do you think you're doing? I never robbed a thing in all my life! Come on! Oh, you're giving me a headache! in your tree yet? I feel like chopping it down. We'll all be watching you. Good old Bill. You did real good. Good. What you want? You can stay with us as long as you want. Thank you. It's the least we can do. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay.
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
Arthur. Always good to see. Uh, what is this bath water? Okay, boy. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... 
I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. What in the hell is wrong with you? out worse by my flesh and blood. I didn't ask you to talk to me. You want me to put a bullet in your skull? Son of a... Oh, <laughs> Go cower under your bed. Oh, God, stop this. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs! Downs! Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm... 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 We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come uh, to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. A little patience is all I require. <laughs> you ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. 
And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. And no coal? Not for now, no. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Arthur. Good boy. Waltzing through here like you are over the place. But the O'Driscoll's got the dying on them.
just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. Mister?
bajo techo y con una chimenea a tus pies eso o rompiéndote la más I don't mean no harm okay just want to speak to Hernandez we don't take to visitors up here kill this fool
Hold here, boy. Stay here, boy. Blacko Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About Boy Calloway? I'm unarmed. <coughs> King Gallagher. I just want to talk. About Boy Calloway? Sure. Here's your message. Yep. Now, come on. You're all right, boy. Master.
okay then. Not bad, boy. Yep. Yeah! Yeah, good boy. Okay, boy. All right, boy. Gotta be done.
Okay. The big man. You ever get there in the army? You know these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, a skill tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Many thanks. If you could give me some leather-working tools, I could make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. What kind of lunatic bought that up? That's an interesting way of seeing things. Maybe we'll head over there one of these days, huh? Yeah. Start a new life as kangaroo farmers. Well, there's a dream we ain't had yet. Appreciate it, Pearson.